Yeah, it's really inspiring to, you know, see him, you know, fight back and do everything that he's been doing. You know, he's a guy that, you know, I want on my team because I know it's no quitting a guy like that. Like, he's continuing to showing up and continuing to fight. So, you know, that that's 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 big for me, and it's very inspiring. Say it again. Thinking about football. Yeah, the whole time I was ready to go. Um, but, you know, went to Hawaii with uh, Coach Steen and a couple of the Texans, you know, got some good work out there. And. Uh, just resting my body, you know, to get ready for now. So, you know, I'm ready to go. What's up, Jalen? What, what does it mean to you to have Larry McTosa call you one of the top five safeties in the league already this only second year? Oh, it's huge. You know, when I can gain that respect from a, a, a great player and um, with that, you know, somebody on my team. So, you know, it means the world to me. And, you know, I'm going to continue to work hard and continue to, you know, push push myself to the limit. Did you say Hawaii? Hawaii. Oh, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty hot, but, you know, it was a cool breeze, you know, no humidity. So it, it was fun. It was me, Sting, Jacoby, and, and Christian Harris. Yeah. Oh, a, a great tandem. You know, when I can go out there and play with somebody that's that good and, you know, you know, plays with his hair on fire, a guy that wants to hit. You know, I love guys that, you know, don't you know, shy away from contact and, you know, things like that are inspiring to me because I'm always trying to, you know, push him and he's always trying to push me. So it's always, you know, some give and take there and it's always, you know, growth in that. So, you know, I'm blessed to be able to play with him. Jalen, what's something that you did this offseason, whether it's been in Hawaii or elsewhere, something that you did that you really feel like helped you, helped your game, helped you improve this year? Uh, yeah, just working on my patience and my back pedal. You know, I do play uh, deep a lot. Um, whether that's in a post or in a half. So just working on, you know, having a control pedal, staying square and not turning my hips, giving a quarterback a key on which way I'm going to go, you know, I think was a main focus in a lot of the things that I was doing this off season. So, you know, I'm looking forward to, you know, putting that on tape and, you know, doing that this season. Last year you were very aggressive. You had a lot of time. <coughs> this defensive scheme, this new defensive scheme that you're in, does it limit you from being that aggressive again or does it feed right into what you like to do? Oh, no. It's all about, you know, running to the ball, and, you know, being mean when you get there. So I think Coach Miko, you know, preaches that. He wants us all to be aggressive. So, you know, I'm going to continue to do that and continue to, you know, try to be the first ones to the ball. What did you all work on here in Hawaii? What did you work out? How did you work out? A lot of change of direction, a lot of ball drills, and uh, a lot of footwork on the line. You know, I don't play uh, corner, but we were doing a lot of, you know, man work, um, whether that was, you know, um, off man or even press man, just getting to work and see different releases and stuff like that because, you know, you can never, you know, work too much or you can never master it. You always work and, you know, continue to get better and better. So, you know, that was kind of the whole thing of why we went out to Hawaii. Oh, yeah, it was good, you know, to just connect. Uh, I feel like me, Stingley, um, Jacoby, and um, Christian, you know, spent a good amount of time together, but it's always good to, you know, go somewhere else and do it. So it was cool to, you know, go out on the beach and chill with them, work out with them, and, you know, continue to connect with my teammates. So you spent so much time with Stingley, and, and obviously y'all were putting that work. And, of course, you didn't finish the season last year healthy and all that. You know, you got this year. What are some things that you were seeing, you know, some, some observations that you have with Stingley uh, on this issue? Oh, yeah, he's a dog. He's hungry. You know, I'm, I'm really confident in his ability, and I think he's a great player. You know, I think he wants to get better. And I think the biggest thing that a lot of people can't really see at corner is, you know, uh, the smartness and, you know, his ability to understand everything that's going on around him. You know, he's one of the smartest corners I've ever played with. And, you know, we play Madden a lot together. So I could obviously see it on there. You know, he knows the route concepts, every route concept there is. He knows the coverages. Like, he knows football. So it's always good to play with a guy that understands the game from a holistic standpoint. Since, since you mentioned Madden, and I, I imagine you grew up playing Madden like most people around your age, how much did that help you? Yeah, Madden helped me a lot because, um, believe it or not, a lot of the route concepts, really all of the route concepts that um, these NFL teams are running is on the game. So when you're playing around and you're picking these plays, like these are plays that these offensive coordinators are picking. Obviously, you know, their knowledge of the game is a lot further than us, but um, these are the same plays. So if you continue to see that, you continue to put that in your mind, then when you get out onto the field and you start seeing it, it's going to just start to click and click. So I think it's just a good uh, – a good rep for you to just get on Madden and just look at stuff because it's, it's obviously fun, too. Who's your favorite Madden player? Like, who's winning these games? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to put that out there. But, but 
Yeah, probably Sting. Probably Sting. Um, I'm not really, really worried about that right now. You know, I've seen it, but obviously I have a lot more work to do and a lot more things that I want to, you know, accomplish, especially team-wise. So, you know, I'm not really, you know, putting much focus on onto that right now. You, Sting, and Christian have roles last year, and you were part-time starters, full-time starters, but you also are still young in this team. How do you balance being more vocal leaders while taking advice from guys like Jimmy, guys like Denzel, guys like Steven, who have been better than me? Um, I think the biggest thing is being um, – you know, having no ego, being selfless, and also being open to learning. You know, obviously, like I said, Stingley knows a great amount about the game. Christian knows a great amount about the game. But when you approach every day like you know nothing, I think that's where you continue to see the growth that you want to see, and you continue to build on that. So um, just coming in every day with, you know, that mindset of I need to learn more, I'm trying to learn something different. And I think that's what we, we, we all try to do. So you're still calling the plays, uh, or at least to start off. What does it do to have guys who have already been the type of defense before? Um, it's big because um, I think he does a great job at communicating what he's looking for and, you know, making it very clear. So when you have, a, you know, a coach that does that, I think it makes it really easy for you as a player to just go out there and, you know, put it on the field or try to put it on the field and continue to work, you know, to master that. And the players you've been in that scheme before, same thing. They can give you advice, right? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Jimmy has, you know, played in the system, so he, he knows a good amount about the system. A lot of players that play here have played on other teams with this system, so – you know, they have great knowledge, and I'm looking forward to, you know, continuing to learn from them. As a Texan, as a Texan you probably know more than anybody that the city of Houston has a complicated and beautiful and unusual relationship with the NFL, and that not all Houston Texans are Houston Texans fans. For the people that are interested in the team and maybe want to come on board or want to be a part of NFL football again, what do you have to say to those people? Um, that's a great question. And I don't know if I have, you know, an answer for that, but I would probably just say that we're out here working hard and we're trying to, you know, master our craft and continue to get better. And, uh, so what ways have you seen, is this team different? Or in what ways have you Yeah, obviously we have new players and, you know, a new scheme. Uh, but I think just the confidence is continuing to grow with, you know, us especially myself as a younger player, you know, just continue to see things and continue to learn. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Our confidence is just continue to grow and continue to get better. So when you can do that, I think you can go out on the field and make more plays and, you know, in turn lead to more wins. Yeah, I think that's everything. Um, your relationship with people on and off the field in turn has a huge correlation to – you know, how y'all communicate on the field and how you play for each other. So, you know, that's that's the most important thing of this camp is, you know, building that relationship with my teammates in order for them to trust me, in order for us to all go out there and trust each other, for us to just play harder for each other. I think that's the most important thing, just just that, that trust 